Hi everyone, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome to another episode of Tactic Review and Instructions. I say instructions because I've already said before, we are also helping out the people playing FM Touch as well. Um, I'll be going through all of the instructions for players, set pieces and team instructions to uh, help you out. So, this tactic is called the TFF Server Version 4. I uh, picked this tactic because, well, you go on the uh, TFF's uh, SR Community Forum and it's there right there first up use it version 4 server it's amazing all this all that so i'm going to use it and uh, the two teams that i'm decided to use it with is a uh, stuttgart in the second division of the german league and also everton uh, so hopefully it works out all good for them let's get on with the video they took our jobs dirk, dirk, dirk. Right, hi guys and welcome to Tucker Jobs Gaming Tactic Reviews and Instructions. So, we are here with Everton and we are using the tw FM20 Server version 4 uh, by TFF. And uh, yeah, this is this is a highly rated tactic. A um, bit of a all over the place tactic by uh, looking first initial looks on it. But I'm sure it's going to work out just fine. Right then, so this tactic involves a attacking forward and a shadow striker, two wingers in the attack, a central midfielder, uh, two wing backs, obviously just slightly pushed up, a deep line playmaker in the defensive midfield role, and two ball playing defenders and a sweeper keeper. I'm going to go through all of the player instructions first for those of you who cannot import these this information, obviously via the download. So the advanced forward attack, the shadow striker. Winger left, winger right, central midfielder, deep line playmaker, wing back left, wing back right, ball plane defender left, ball plane defender right, and the sweeper keeper in attack. So the tactical style is a, a custom. Um, I don't know what you could actually class it as. So I can't really help you there with the uh, with the tactical style, guys. Uh, but it is a positive mentality. Obviously, normally with an attacking uh, an attacking formation or a formation that requires you to score a lot of goals and potentially win leagues, uh, you go for a, a more attacking um, mentality. But with this obviously positive, I'm guessing you're kind of letting your defenders know not to get carried away. Uh, in possession, right, so we are fairly wide, passing into space and play out defence. Pretty uh, pretty simple to understand that is passing into space. You always pass into space when you've got nice, pacey uh, wingers or players um, because your player will clearly beat their defender in getting to that ball. Uh, more direct passing and a high tempo, so you're playing quite fast football uh, and you're trying to get it pretty much up front. Kind of route one, but not fully. Obviously, if it was fully... It would be like that, boom, extremely direct. But uh, what did I just do then? Did that, didn't I? Yeah. So put work ball back into box there. Uh, time wasted, never. Work ball back in, work ball into box. Um, like I say, it's self explanatory. Um, you're passing around and you are working the ball uh, into the box and waiting for that more opportune moment to score. And no other instructions are here. So in transition, counter press and counter. Um, a lot of tactics have this. Obviously, you lose the ball. Your whole players are going to counter press. You are going to press uh, their players and hopefully win the ball back and counter. But also by doing this, you risk having your players out of position for when they counter attack. So uh, it could be a double-edged sword. Um, distribute to your centre-backs. And that's obviously your goalkeeper when he has the ball. First point of contact is your centre-backs and rolling it out to them. Uh, and then when your goalkeeper has got in possession or caught the ball or anything like that, it's slowed the pace down. So he's going to hold on to the ball, let all your players get back into position. He's not going to go too fast, slow it down, and then uh, start the play. And then out of possession, use offside trap. You know, smart defenders, keep hold of that back line. And uh, obviously, you're using the offside trap to uh, get their players to go offside when, when the pass comes to them. 
um, much higher line of engagement than standard defensive line. So it's telling your defenders to stay standard, don't push too high up, uh, but you've got a much higher line of engagement just in case you do win the ball and you can start the counter attack. Your players are already up there. Uh, standard defensive width, um, strange. I don't normally see that. Normally I see narrow. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this one's going to work out, but this is just standard. Your players are in the play. Your players are going to defend where they should defend, and uh, they're not going to automatically defend wide or narrow. So they're just where they are. And um, extremely urgent pressing intensity. Again, that works with counter pressing. You're going to have two players maybe going for the ball at the same time, trying to get that ball back off the opposition. And uh, there's no tackling stay on feet or get stuck in. So that stays as. Uh, that might be a good thing. So you probably won't rack up the uh, yellow or red cards from the uh, get stuck in option. Uh, so let's go into the set pieces and the corner instructions are as is. I've already spoken on a few videos about this. Hopefully you understand what all of these little symbols mean. The 6F, MM, EA, obviously edge of the area, um, stay forward and blah and so on and so forth. So this is the defending right, the defending left, attacking left, and attacking right. We will now go to the free kicks. The defending right. And defending left. The attacking left. And attacking right. And then go down to the small chance of shot direct free kicks. The defending right. Defending left. Attacking left. Attacking right. Indirect wide free kicks, defending right, defending left, attacking left, attacking right, and now for the deep indirect free kicks, defending right, defending left, attacking left, attacking right, and finally the throw in, so that's the defending right and defending left, and the attacking left and attacking right. Ooh. So that is it for all of the player instructions. As I said, I've taken over Everton. Everton are predicted to come ninth. So what would you say? Anything above fifth place is all right. Champions League football? Yeah. Get Champions League football. Winner. Ronto a winner. Good tactic. Great tactic. Uh, TFF. He does uh, good tactics anyway. It's pretty much... Uh, pretty much a good a good tactic creator and i've used a lot of his tactics obviously in the past and they've uh, done pretty well for me so i've got no qualms about this being a being a bad tactic it will be a good one you won't advertise it on your si community forum uh, in big writing saying use it i want you to have this for your main tactic and all that so uh, yeah let's uh, let's give it a shot and uh, obviously once all the season's done for everton i will then be going over to germany to stuttgart and they are in the second division of the Bundesliga and uh, see how they do with the tactic. So I'll see you in January. Hi guys, hope you've been enjoying the video so far. And uh, if you want to see more content, hopefully you subscribe and like the videos. Yeah, because we're telling the girlfriends that we're actually sitting in the garage playing football manager to the world and saying that you guys are watching. So if they ever check on YouTube and realise we've only got like 10 subscribers, we're in trouble. So please subscribe. Uh, yeah, so back to the video. Right, here we are in January and talking about uh, Champions League qualification. We are sitting fourth result. Uh, 13 wins, four draws and three uh, losses. And we have 43 points. Uh, obviously, we're sitting above Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United. Oh, Leicester's not doing too well there. But uh, it's pretty much obvious that it's always going to be Man City and Liverpool at the top of the table. Uh, in the first season, every time I've played a game, uh, started in the first season. If I, if I didn't win the league, it was always Liverpool or Man City. They're just very, very powerful team. And uh, yeah, so we're fourth. Everything's going hunky-dory. Uh, unfortunately, we have no players in any of the top threes. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but with you being fourth, you kind of expected to maybe have one player in there somewhere. So maybe it's a very good team tactic. Um, everyone's playing all right together they're amazing but they're just not having that spectacular one player that's taken out all of the ratings um, but it's not like i said it's not necessarily a bad thing so uh, yeah let's have a look at some of the uh some of the games obviously man city man U, and watford three wins there two one three one three one great results um beat tottenham three one awesome 
lost against Arsenal, that's a shame, and lost against Liverpool, drew against uh, Chelsea, pretty good there, and are we still, no, nope. went out in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Wolves, pretty much a shame there, but it's all about focusing on the league, at the end of the day, if, uh, if you wanted to get further in the Cups, maybe obviously play the stronger teams in, in the Cup ties, and not, not the youth or the reserves and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, everyone's playing pretty pretty well. Uh, won the Baines testimonial against Wigan. Away. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, going good, going good. So let's have a look at the squad. Let's have a look at their stats uh, in the competition and overall stats, sorry. Uh, so this is obviously the friendlies, the cup games and the league. This is not just the league itself. Uh, the highest rated player, not going to count Moise Keane, has only had one game. Uh, Andre Gomez. Uh, five goals, four assists, playing 7.57. And he is looking pretty good. I'm guessing he's playing in the midfield at centre role. Um, so that's obviously for the people that want to know the, the more outstanding players, what their positions are. Uh, Andre Gomez is playing the midfield at centre. Uh, then you've got the likes of Richarlson. Uh, 17 games, eight goals, one assist. He's currently playing as a striker. So he's doing pretty well there. Then you've got uh, Lucas Digne. And yeah, he'll be the left back. Obviously, the wing back pushed up um, version uh, tactics. Yeah, wing back left doing pretty well as well. Um, and yeah, so the biggest creator of your team, Sig Sigerson, uh, is, is always good, isn't he? Always, always performs well, this guy does. Um, currently, he is playing as the attacker midfielder center role. So he's the shadow striker of the team. A shadow strike is always a very hard uh, position to fill, I think. I've had some people message me uh, comments on some of the videos saying that they always struggle finding, find, not finding players because there's always amazing players that have got decent passing and obviously attacking capabilities to fill that role. It's just a very hard role to actually make effective. So um, maybe if you guys know how to do it properly, nice, good, strong shadow strike tactic um, who does outperform a good team because it always says shadow strikers are the danger point of your team so surely they should be scoring quite a lot of goals would Messi be a good shadow striker let us know in the comments guys so uh, yeah everyone's playing pretty good and uh, I'm happy at that a bit unfortunate that we haven't got any of the top threes but fourth place for Everton nice nice so uh, oh I'll see you at the end of the season Right then, end of the season, and would you look at that, third place, Everton, qualified for Champions League football, well happy, alright, clearly the tactic is helping, again, we haven't made the player stats apart from in one uh, category, and that was assists, and that was Lucas Digne in the left back, the French left back, I can remember a few years ago, I can't remember what it was now, was it, FM... 16 would it have been 16 16 or 15 and this lad was a young left back wonder kid i always used to get him always used to get him and tell you what he pretty much turned out like he has here what a left back if you've got the money and you're looking for that good look at him he's on 110k but it is a quality quality left back um, yeah, so he's got first place in the assists and we haven't got anywhere anywhere else. Uh, finished the season with 23 wins, 7 draws, 8 losses on a 33 goal difference and 76 points. So we only just got to third place, um, but we were pretty far out from uh, first and second. Obviously, Liverpool and Man City pretty much stormed at the league. And uh, let's have a look at some of the results on the second half of the season. So in November, December, January. Ooh. Had a very bad January. Four losses in a row. Arsenal, Arsenal, and they knocked us out of the FA Cup in the third round. Uh, Chelsea and Southampton all beat us, but we did come back uh, on TV and beat Man United at home. Uh, went on a pretty good run then. Uh, only one draw in three, four, five, six, seven games. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, good, uh, good win there against Man. Uh, not a good win. Sorry, a good draw against Man City there. Two all. Uh, Bournemouth, Sheffield United, 3-0, 2-1. Some good results all around. End of the season, last game, 4-1 against Crystal Palace. Good result. Lost against Liverpool, fully expected. Fully expected. Go and have a look at them. Look at the state of Liverpool. Look at them. Who's that? What, what is there? See, that's a 15-year-old 
Regen. And even he's amazing. Yeah, he's going to be good, here, isn't he? Benjamin Castro. Just the, it just says it in the name. You don't call a regen Benjamin Castro if they're not going to be good. <laughs> but yeah, Van Dyke. Oh, what a team. But uh, yeah, had some good results there. And uh, oh, unfortunately, we didn't win any cups or get got to the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. But it's not a massive achievement. But at the end of the day, it's all about the league. And uh, we came third. So can't moan at that, can we? Can't moan at that. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the squad. Let's have a look at some of the uh, ratings for him. So not going to count him. It's a shame he's only had one game. Uh, didn't really perform. He's, uh, he's got the stats for it. But like real life, he hasn't been doing pretty great, has he? But he's still a young lad. He's only 20. So obviously he's still going to gonna get better. But uh, no, top player is Gomez. Uh, eight goals, six assists, playing 7.39. Uh, like I said, he is playing in the midfielder centre role. And uh, after him, Digne, he's the left back. Uh, I'm not going to count him. He's only played six games. Then Mina. Uh, Mina is no doubt the centre back. Let's make sure of that. Yeah, he'll be the centre back. He's played pretty good. He scored six goals, playing 7.22. Uh, the highest scorer, obviously, in your team is Richarlson. He is your striker. Uh, up at and out striker. Uh, even though it says here that he is a winger, obviously. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, he is a striker. I thought he might have changed position, but he didn't. Uh, then you've got Awobi, uh, 10 and 1. He's been playing pretty good. Obviously, he might have been the on the left or the sub striker. He's a pretty much everywhere you put me, I will play kind of guy. Uh, so he's had 18 on the left, 18 is the shadow striker, 1 on the right, 1 in the center. Uh, so that might be handy to know. He can play at pretty much quite a lot lot of positions. And it says here that he can. So why not use that to the uh, to the benefit of your team? And then you got Bernard. Uh, he's been playing pretty well as well. I'm guessing that he is the left. Um, yeah, midfield left. All 32 games that he's played there. So he's been playing pretty well. Uh, the prime creators of your team is obviously Sigurdsson and Digne uh, with 14-12. He is no doubt still playing in that shadow striker role or maybe drop back into the yeah, midfielder centre. So uh, most games is played as the shadow striker, but it's also played four in the midfielder and one game as a striker. And uh, after him, you've got obviously Seamus Coleman, uh, one and nine. He is no doubt your right back. And uh, Gomez, uh, yeah, he's, everyone's been playing pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'm happy at that. You happy at that? Third place for Everton. Yeah, I've actually done a tactic on um, a previous tactic, an older, older video, where I haven't, I don't really go through the instructions as much back then. Obviously, I've only just started doing that now for the past uh, four, five, six videos. And um, yeah, we did do a tactic. I think it was a three up front tactic. And uh, yeah, we won the league with Everton. So check that out if you're interested in being Everton. Want a good tactic? Check it out. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the analysis of the goals in all competitions. So we scored 117, only let in 55. As you can see from here, they are the predominant goal uh, goal areas. Uh, four and four on the outside of the box, left and right. Obviously, they can be the free kicks or the lucky lucky long shots. At the end of the day, you've got the um, work ball into box. So hopefully, they should be low because you don't want your players to shoot from range. Uh, more chance of uh, of missing if you do that. Uh, you've had one super goal from the middle E pitch or from your own half. Who scored that? Uh, then most of your goals are obviously in the box. Uh, that's standard though. Obviously it works with your instructions and that's what you want them to do. Uh, assist locations. Uh, compared to the wings, uh, your right side is more heavily uh, more better than your left. Why is that? Because you've got Digna on that left-hand side. Technically, he is the prime creator of your team. He should be there, surely. What's happened there? Is it? Is it? Is he doing all of the work? Maybe that's something to have a look at. Maybe, maybe make that left-hand side better. Have a look on the right-hand side as what what's happening there that that is making that in, that increase or that difference in uh, in assist locations. 
Uh, then obviously through the centre is going to be 22 and 27. It's going to be high, 27, because you're working the ball into box. Everyone's going to participate and uh, get the assist in that area. And you have got an, a, a midfielder and a shadow striker and a striker. So you've got a pretty good spine with your deep lion playmaker, your, your central midfielder, your shadow striker going up there. So it's no doubt that you're going to have some assists going through that middle. And uh, six uh, assists in your own half or the centre of the uh, pitch. Uh, that could obviously always be your deep line playmaker for one. Uh, could be some long, deep um, crosses from your left and right back. Uh, or could be your ball playing defenders. Uh, every Obviously, they're going to be pinging the balls up. And I've noticed on the football manager game of this one, that's a very overpowered pass from the ball playing defenders just to chip it over their defence and onto your uh, rampaging forward, as they would say. Uh, and then there's always that chance that your sweeper keeper might have had that lucky uh, that lucky kick going straight to the uh, striker and him being able to wiggle his way all the way to the goal and score. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy at that. Third place, the uh, TFF server version 4. Uh, download it, guys. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So right, I'm going to go over to uh, Stuttgart now in Germany and see how they did using this tactic. Right, we're in Germany and welcome to the Bundesliga 2. And uh, we are currently Stuttgart and using this tactic, went to the end of the season and uh, yeah, they pretty much comfortably won that uh, league. Um, they had their striker Gomez, 23 goals in the uh, league, came first. Uh, you got Gomez again with average, rate, average rating coming third. You got Cabell um, as the goalkeeper, got the Numbre 1-0 of uh, clean sheets and uh, Kempf. Um, second in yellow card, so uh, we're pretty, yeah, done pretty well. Um, they were favourites to win the league anyway, but um, it's always nice to know that this tactic's not going to hinder lower level teams um, as well as make them better. So sometimes, obviously, you can put an, an amazing tactic that, say, Manu can have, and you think, yeah, this is awesome, crazy, out of this world. But then you give that same tactic to, let's say, Bolton or Notts County, or low league team, not I mean the, uh, well, you know, all the low league one teams, league two teams, anything like that, and all of a sudden they're just absolutely put in. And you think, what's happened here? Is it because some tactics just do not work with low level teams? They, the low level players and the, and the attributes they have just can't comprehend the tactic. And sometimes that happens. So it's nice to know that this tactic doesn't. I, I was at full confidence that it wasn't because you don't advertise it like you did, like TFF does on his SI community uh, forum page, um, knowing that it's not going to do well. It's going to do well across the board. Everyone is going to uh, want to play this tactic. It's very good. Uh, I recommend it. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the quick results for Stuttgart. Green all the way. Green, 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 green. And we lost against Nuremberg and Hanover. And green, 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 green. Uh, lost in the German Cup, but it's Chalker. Don't matter about that, really, does it? Uh, yeah, brilliant season, brilliant results. Um, let's have a quick look at the players. Most outstanding player is, who would you say, him? Out of all competitions, I'm really bad at pronouncing names. I'm just going to say Daniel. Daniel. Uh, 7.32 with 14 goals, 8 assists. Uh, he would have played the shadow striker, surely. Uh, 17 games as shadow striker, 10 games as the midfielder left, and 4 games as the midfielder right. And then you've got Gomez, he was the striker. What a striker is for the Bundesliga 2 league as well. He may be old, he may be slow, but he's got that finishing. He's got that anticipation, and he's got that off the ball. That's all you need. <laughs> um, and then you've got Holger Badstubar. Uh, one and three and played a 7.29 everyone played pretty good guys and uh, not going to go too much into the second half of, of this team because it's just to show that it still works with a, other, a different team or a different league a different country different play styles it's all all going all right and uh, yeah i'm happy at that use the tactic download it all the information on the download link is going to be in the description um and yeah check out the channel guys we've got a lot more going on now in the videos obviously we've got all the instructions for the fm touch players as well so you can uh, all manually in input all of the tactics yourself 
and uh, hopefully you start subscribing, like the video. Uh, we want to grow, want to grow big. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. See you later. Bye.